Welcome to eSign Online Training. You can access your eSign Online account from gopaperless.com. There's a red eSign login button at the bottom. Go ahead and click that. It takes you to the login page where your username is your email associated with the account. And we enter the password. If you have a real estate dashboard account, you can access this feature from any web browser on any computer. Use the same login as your real estate dashboard account. So go ahead and sign in. And it takes you into your account to the session history page. On this page, you can view in progress, completed sessions or sessions that you're continuing to build. In any one of these status reports, you will be able to download the latest version of the document, whoever signed on it. You could view your signers here, look at their status report, and of course the activity log that tracks date, timestamps, and IP address of what computer it happened on. To create a new signing session, simply click the new signing session button. It's a six step wizard. Here in step one, you'll title it, in this case, a residential listing agreement. You'll want to write a note to your signers. In this case, I have John and Linda Smith signing. Please e sign the listing agreement call if any questions. You could create an email signature that always populates on step one here in preferences. At the end of each session, everyone that's part of this session gets a final PDF on email with all the signatures on it. You could carbon copy just that final document to anyone, be it a broker, another agent, a lawyer. Just put their email in here. If you have several, make sure to put a comma between each email. You could assign a password to this session. It just creates another layer of security. You would have to let the signer know what that password is, either with a phone call or a separate text message. Don't worry too much about these preferences, but if you want to be the first signer, it'll automatically populate your information on step two. Let's go to step two, hit the next button. On step two, we'll be inviting the signers. Hit the new signer. In this case, we have John and Linda Smith, Put their first, last name, and email. It's okay if John and Linda have the same email. This is sequential signing. So John will sign first, then Linda will be invited to sign. If you want to move Linda up in the sequence, just click on the box and move up and vice versa. Click and move down. You could have multiple signers here. If you want to be the third signer, just enter your information at this point. Hit the next button. This is where you'll upload a document. Search your computer for the right document and upload it into the eSign online session by hitting the upload document. Now, if you want to delete any one of the documents that you've uploaded, just click the box and delete. Let's go to the next step here. You'll see that the document populates down this left hand side. You'll always know what page you're on. It will be highlighted in red. Here are your two signers, John and Linda Smith. You will be able to place signatures, initials, date, time, form fields, and checkbox zones on this document. Let's go ahead and place some signatures on the last page of this document. You can always drag the scroll bars here. Or with John now, we'll place some signatures for John. Just hit the signature zone once and drag it to its location.
we'll put a date here. If you need to make these signing zones smaller or larger, you could stretch them. You just want to make sure that the color area fits into this defined space. You could edit any one of these signing zones to make them required or unrequired. If the box is unchecked, that just means that the signer would not be required to click to sign that zone to complete the signing session. Here on date, you could change to date only, time only, or date and time. Just make sure to save any changes you make. And if you want to delete the signing zone, just hit the delete button. Initials are pretty straightforward. We'll place some initials for John. A form field is where the signer will be able to type in to this zone. And however long you want them to be able to type, they will be allowed from the left hand to the right hand side of this color zone. So for a uh, address or social security number, this is plenty of room to put that information into. Check boxes are always optional. You'll notice there is not a edit button so you could put as many checkboxes as you wish on the document. We'll place some signatures for Linda. Again hit the button, drag it, and we'll put a date. You're ready to go to the next step which is a preview and we'll go down and just check these zones here on the last page. If you need to add any more, just go back up here to step four. You could go right to the step bar here and hit it, place your zones, and continue on. We're almost done here. We're going to step six, where we're going to start the signing session. It carries over everything that you entered on step one. You could continue to add language here. This is a Microsoft Word editing toolbar. I like this insert date and insert time stamp feature and you're ready to finish. When you hit the finish button, this will start the signing session. John is going to receive an email inviting him to the online signing ceremony. You will receive notifications when the session is started, when your signer has viewed the invite email, and most importantly, when your signer has signed. It takes you back to your session history, where you could view the status report of this signing session. You see that John has been invited. If you notice that the email is incorrect, just hit the edit button, update the email, update the signer, and resend the invitation. So let's go and view John's experience. John receives an invite email. He clicks on it. Dear jo John Smith, Lewis Caverly has sent you residential listing agreement to eSign. There's some instructions down here. He simply clicks this link and it takes him to the online signing ceremony. Where there's some further instructions, you have been asked by Lewis Caverly to review and sign these documents, review and agree, adopt your signature, review the documents, click to sign, and select complete. Here's that note that you wrote, John. So John will continue where he agrees to a consumer disclosure. John can print this disclosure. It's basically a consent to sign electronically. Clicks the agree box and continues. John will now pick a font. There's eight different font choices. He could come up here and add a middle initial if he wishes. It edits on the fly. and he starts the eSign session. John could either drag the tool bar over here down to all the signing locations or he could just hit the start button which takes him to the first signing location. He clicks to sign, clicks to date. Here is the form field where he could enter in a printed name or social security number or an address. Here's that checkbox. And let's say that John tried to complete the session at this point. 
it's not going to let him because he forgot to click to sign one of the zones. So there's some instructions here that, that lets him know that he missed some fields and they are now highlighted in red. So John comes, clicks this last zone and completes. At this point, John could download a copy of the session in its current form, but now that he's done signing, his wife Linda is going to receive an invite email inviting her to an online signing ceremony. So we go back to the account, it's coming to the same email, we hit the inbox, we see Linda's invite here. Dear Linda Smith, Lewis Carverly has sent you the agreement to e-sign. So she'll come down, click on this link again, and it takes her to the online signing ceremony. Same instructions, she continues, she agrees to the disclosure. There's again eight different font choices. She could choose any one of them. Approves and starts the e-sign session. Where she hits the start button, takes her to uh, takes her to her signing locations. She will see the previous signers. In this case, her husband. Here is the notifications coming in that Linda has viewed this email and is now going through the signing process. She clicks to sign, clicks to date, and completes. This is a completed session. Both signers have signed. At this point, the agent, the creator in this case, is going to get a PDF and the signers will get a PDF on email with all the signatures on it. Thanks for attending eSign Online Training. This is a basic training. There are some advanced features that you could view in other webinars.